The 19th century. Over two centuries away, yet art and knowledge of that time persist. Common knowledge, even for school children, is that there were renowned artists in the past, such as Michelangelo, Picasso, and Van Gogh. With a passive knowledge of art, culture makes it so that these names are known. One would not need to delve into an art history class just to know some of these big names. There is a great deal of paintings one could consider masterpieces. There are even more paintings that just look aesthetically pleasing. And there are some that are done so well that they stay within a culture's perspective when referring to art. Art that is culturally significant has specific qualities that keep it known, such as the time, the meaning, and the painting itself. The significance of such art helps enrich our understanding of the world around us. The pieces, Irises by Vincent van Gogh, and Study for a Sunday on the Grand Jatte by Georges Seurat specifically gives us insight into how different one's perceptions versus situation and reality can be, not only for artists, but for people in general. Before Van Gogh had painted irises, he traveled across Europe in places like the Netherlands, Belgium, and Paris to learn and grow his artistic talents by meeting the works of Impressionists and Post-Impressionists to develop his style. While studying these works, according to the biography of Vincent Van Gogh, he discovered that the dark palette he had developed back in Holland was hopelessly out of date. The search for his own idiom left him to experiment with Impressionist and Post-Impressionist techniques and to study the prints of Japanese masters. Later in life, Van Gogh's mental health started to deteriorate, and as a result, he was admitted into a facility voluntarily. According to the Getty Museum, in May 1889, after episodes of self mutilization and hospitalization, Vincent van Gogh chose to enter the asylum in St. Remy, France. Within the first week, he began irises, working from nature in the asylum's garden. Irises is a painting done in oil on canvas and depicts a garden of flowers of a few various kinds, and partially of the dirt they are planted in. This painting is van Gogh's perception of his surroundings, and as he would go on to make more pieces, According to the biography of Vincent van Gogh, his use of color, which had been often so intense in Arles, became more muted, and he tried to make his brushwork more graphic. His dark and very distinct separate flower contours show van Gogh's influence of Japanese woodblocking and prints, studied prior to being admitted into the asylum. The depiction of this painting is obvious, but the meaning could be interpreted as a painful study just for practice, painting flowers that have the color synonymous with sadness and sorrow. And rather than painting in his own original style, he was making each individual flower seem with a darker color to form an outline. The colors in the painting create the setting during the day and outside, the light coming from the sun, showing this metaphor for sadness is not tucked away in some dark room, but now pushed out and growing even in the sunlight. During his time, Van Gogh's name did not carry the same weight as it did now, and due to such mental distress and feelings of failure, Van Gogh would take his own life a year later. The perception Van Gogh had of himself was that of a failure of an artist, to not generate any sort of notoriety in his lifetime. But the truth is, Van Gogh was an amazingly skilled painter, worthy of recognition to this day. Georges Seurat was a French painter and draftsman, not quite the household name as other artists, but Surratt's art, and specifically this piece, is very recognizable, partially due to being referenced in various media. Surratt was a pioneer of Neo-Impressionism, and the technique known as Pointillism or Divisionism. For the work of A Study for A Sunday on La Grand Jet, Surratt was driven by his ambition to make modern people in their essential traits move about as they do on ancient Greek friezes, and place them on canvases organized by harmonies, a direct quote from Surratt in his biography. Surratt's piece, referenced here, is a study for what would become a more refined and neuro-sized Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grangette. The reason for analyzing this piece is to show the direction of ideas that would take Surratt two years to finally complete in 1886. The study depicts a loose crowd of fellow Parisians enjoying the day on the side of the Seine River, along with pets, children, and boats. The main composition of the painting will draw one's eye either to the river or the young girl in white, almost in the direct center. According to the Met Museum, 
Contrasting pigments are woven together with small, patchy brushstrokes. Pointillism, or divisionism, the term Seurat preferred, allows for the color to appear brighter than if it were done with regular brushstrokes. The wide range of color in this piece allows for the artist to sell the depiction of a shadow covering a portion of the painting, making the piece look as though it is early afternoon. The study does not use strong line, but instead uses strong form and color to differentiate one thing from another. Seurat intended for this painting to be a representation of something timeless, in the style that is Neo-Impressionism. Seurat included forms of people, animals, plants, and nature into the landscape. The meaning of this piece, or at least this study, is to claim people exist and will continue to exist in society. Seurat's perception in this study is the impression of people in a place rather than the reality in which people are filled with an immense number of detail that could tell stories just by examining those details. Comparing the two pieces, we see that Van Gogh's irises have lines and form that create natural movement as the eye looks around the piece, whereas Seurat's study has interesting forms, but all of them are stiff except for the branches and curve of objects. The piece of post-impressionist Van Gogh having more detailed line and visual description than the neo-impressionist piece from Seurat that uses forms to represent a scene shows a divide within perception. Van Gogh saw what he believed to be hard-edged, cold truth. Seurat saw forms and colors, and presented a soft still of what he perceived to be the truth. The reality lived in is the same, but others' experiences of that reality wildly change our perception of it, and artist depiction of it.